back out after Goose. It's snowing. And where we wanted to actually go, we had kind of slowed down because of the snow. All the Goose landed there already. So I don't know what we're going to do. There's like 35 Goose right where we're going to sit. And we're the only one out here. I don't know it's stupid enough to come out with crap. everything. He has the worst one for the last two hunts. Last time he went to shoot at Goose and he stepped on his chair, ate shit, put a hole in his waders. So he's out there picking up the Goose with about a quarter inch hole and a, and a very degrees. cold right foot. <laughs> a very cold. Like today he goes to shoot that set of Goose and his chair breaks underneath his ass, so he's falling down as I'm shooting at the goose, and he's trying to shoot at the goose. And it's only like 11. So. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll see what's done. Well, we are not skunked, as he says. We uh, had a group come in and flare out right here, and more than likely, we probably could have gotten to turn. I mean, yeah, yeah, they were. It looked like they were lifting I, up. I think they were going to go down that they were, next. They pool. were cupped, and then they just it, then they changed and they started flapping away. So, so I don't know. I I think they were going to head towards the uh, the north bend. So we took some long shots at them, and I was able on my last shot down on a goose. Yeah, they're probably they're forty ish. So. And then, as I'm out checking, make sure we uh, didn't hit any others that fell out of sight, another group of goose came down and... Speaking of the group of goose, they're down there. You can see them now. They need to get down low. Yeah. They're uh, hopefully floating down the river. Because that would be nice. So, um, I guess I could try using the binoculars. But, yeah, there's a group of goose down on that end. And, yeah, goosey day. If we don't freeze it out. 